Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and we are looking at the version 4 update of Arturia's Microfreak. We'll be focusing on the new Wave user oscillator and related features. But first, please do subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer content coming out regularly. The new firmware can be downloaded from Arturia's website. It does also require a new version of the MIDI control center. You will now see that in addition to the firmware and preset sections, there is a new wavetable tab. More on that later. First, let's update our Microfreak with the new V4 firmware. Let's have a little firmware updating music. Okay, let's also upload the new demo presets. Right away, we see that the first preset uses a new oscillator type, Wave User. This is similar to the existing wavetable oscillator, but allows you to load your own wavetables. The wave parameter lets you move through the 16 different tables. There is also a position parameter to move through the different wavetable cycles. The third parameter changes the bit depth allowing for a digital lo-fi effect. Let's switch to an initialized preset and again select the Wave User Oscillator. We can now explore the factory wave tables and their different cycles in more detail. Of course, part of the fun of the Microfreak is modulating the parameters. Let's go to the modulation matrix and have the LFO modulate the wavetable position. We can also change the wavetable selection in real time. Let's use the cycling envelope for that.
probably increase the amount of modulation to move through more tables. Let's see how this sounds with the arpeggiator. We can use the filter to soften the changes between wavetables a bit. Now the real power of this new feature is uploading your own wavetables to the Microfreak. We do that using the wavetable panel in the MIDI Control Center. Each wavetable is a series of 32 waveforms of 2048 samples each. You can see this cool animated 3D graphic showing all the waveforms, or cycles, and how the active waveform changes with position. One can construct them directly in an editor like Audacity, or use one of several tools. I am using a Max for Live device called WaveWeld that allows one to algorithmically construct wavetables. Now I'm not going to go over the tool itself in this video, but if you would like to know more about it, please leave a comment below. It comes with 16 demo wavetables as wave files which I have imported into this bank called WT. Let's load them into the Microfreak now. We can now explore the waveforms and cycles with the wave and timbre controls, just as we did with the factory wavetables. I really like this one. Let's have some fun with the arpeggiator. and switch back to one of the other wavetables in the bank. Let's create a new bank and add a couple of brand new wavetables. This first one uses WaveWeld's parametric generators. I have saved it as a WAV file that I can now import into the bank using the import WAV AIFF function. One can also upload a single sample, like this cat's meow. When we import it into the bank, MIDI Control Center will automatically break it up into 32 segments of 2048 samples each. Our WAV weld example looks pretty clean, like a typical single cycle WAV table. The cat's meow is a bit busier looking. But let's load them both into the Microfreak and see what happens. We can drag individual wavetables to our device, so let's move our wave weld example into slot 10 and the cat's meow into slot 11. And here is our new wavetable 10. Hmm, that's quite nice. Let's try out the cat meow. Well, okay then. Doesn't sound like a cat, but it's still an interesting timbre. Once again, we can use the LFO to automate waveform position.
And now let's bring in the arpeggiator. This factory preset is particularly good at showcasing the wavetable switching with the sequencer. That was with the factory default wavetables. Let's switch to our custom bank with the additional homemade wavetables. In the remainder of this video, we will listen to a few more of the factory presets. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the new wavetable features and presets in the Microfreak. To get the new firmware and find out more about these and other features, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.